So this is the example problem to calculate the distance strength for tension members. So determine the distance and the strength. Determine the distance and the strength of plate one twenty mm by eighty mm. One twenty mm, eighty mm. Connected to twelve mm thickness gusset plate. Connected to twelve mm thickness gusset plate with bolts holes as shown in figure. With the bolts holes as shown in the figure. And the yield and the ultimate strength are two fifty or four hundred. And dia of bolts are sixteen mm. Okay. So calculate design strength. So you should calculate all these three of modes of failure design strength. So gross yielding, net section rupture, and block shear. We should calculate these three design strength and to give the value of design strength for details of end connection. So here, from this to this 30 mm, from this to this center 60, and from this center to this 30. Okay. Next, from year to year 30, year to year 60, year to center 60, and year to year. So here, first one was to calculate design tensile strength. To calculate design tensile strength. Okay. So to calculate design tensile strength. So first one, cross section. So to calculate. The cross section yielding. I have already told the form of the cross section yielding is T D G is equal to F by A G by gamma M one, which is in page number thirty two, core book six point three point three. Six point three point three. We have this formula. Okay. So already we know F by is equal to. 250 megapascals. Ag is equal to cross area 120 into 8, which is nothing but 960 mm square. And gamma m1 1.1. So substitute the values. So 250 into 960 by 1.1, which we will get the value as 2. 18.19 into 10 cube newtons that is equal to 218.18 kilonewtons. So this is the design strength when cross section yielding was there. The strength was 218.18 kilonewtons for the design. So please remember for cross section yielding, page number 32, 6.3.3. So this is the This type of problem was very short problems for 14 marks. If they ask, so please follow. So cross section yielding was it is equal to F Y A Z by gamma M one, which is in page number 32, 6.3.3. F Y yield strength A Z 120 by 8 8 mm cross area and gamma M one 1.1 mm. So this is the cross section yielding. So you have all understand. So next one. So next one. So what is the next one? Net section rupture. So net section rupture. Okay. So in net section rupture, we have in plates, in rods, in single angles. So in plates, this is the plate section. So plate section in plates, the Net section rupture distance. The formula was 0.9 F U A N by gamma M1. F U A N by gamma M1. So here F U is equal to 400 megapascals. 400 megapascals and gamma M1 is equal to 1.25 from table number four, page number eight, and please remember. Next. We have to calculate A N. So all we have told the formula for A N is B minus N into T N 
प्लस समेशन ऑफ पी स्क्वायर एस आई बाय फोर जी आई इंटू टी सो दिस इज द फॉर्म ऑफ एम सो पी एम बी इज द लिमिट विथ बी इज द लिमिट विथ वन ट्वेंटी प्लीज रिमेम्बर बी इज द लिमिट वन ट्वेंटी विथ वन n n is the number how many so n is the number how many bolts or how many sides so you can assume the value you can assume the value for n is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 2.5 comma 5 comma 5.5 assume assume please so n is equal to 2 i have assumed n is equal to two into n is equal to two into dia of the hole. So what is dia of the hole means? Sixteen, but sixteen m. But here I have increased. So here, D N is nothing but dia of the hole with two m increment. So in code book, while the process which we have solving the net section structure, D N is equal to dia of the hole with two m increment. So what is the dia of the hole? Sixteen m with Two m increment that is sixteen plus two eighteen m. Sixteen plus two eighteen. So one twenty minus two into eighteen into. So this one which we can't consider the next section chapter. So into thickness thickness how much thickness. Well, so here. Sixteen by two. Dia of the bolts. Sixteen by two. Why? Because this one we are carrying calculating center to center. So half of the bolts only will be carried. Why? Because the tension member means nothing but follows the tension which follows which passes through axis in center only. So we will calculate center. So dia of the bolts are half of the by two. Sixteen by two. 16 by 2. So a is nothing but so one by one. At least b is equal to 120. Then number of bolts, number of so here we can assume 1 to the 1 to 2.5. But please listen. A is nothing but number of bolts in failure mode. Number of bolts. So maximum number of bolts where maximum length will be maximum load will be fall. So a is nothing but a is nothing but number of bolts in critical section. And in the number number of bolts in critical section. So here we are assuming two bolts. So these two bolts I am assuming. So number of bolts in critical section into dia of n. Dia of the hole plus two m increment. That is sixteen plus two eighteen m. And thickness. So thickness is nothing but center to center sixteen by two. So this this one side and this one side. So divided by two sixteen by two eight. So by solving, a n is equal to. Six seventy two mm square. So we have these values like P B N is equal to point nine into F U four hundred into A N six seventy two by one point two five, which we will get the value as one ninety three point five four into ten kilonewtons. That is equal to one ninety three point five four. 
we don't know. This is the design stand for net section rupture. So please remember this formula, which is very very important. Okay. So next one. So the last one, which is very very important to calculate. So I am dropping this figure. Now we have to draw. So this one is very very important. Block shear. So please now block shear. Failure for block shear is nothing but if we have to draw the figure. This is the skill which we have. Okay, so this one. So this is the main figure I have drawn for main critical portion. Main critical portion. So now the block, the block shear angle T D B one or T D B two. So no problem. So here T D B one and T D B two. So we have two formulas. So for for block shear we have two formulas, which is in page number thirty three six point four point three. So please remember this for two forms are like A B G F by by root three into gamma M one plus point nine F U A T M by gamma M one. So this is the one form of it. Or so I have written on two forms point nine A B M F U by Root three gamma y one one plus a d g y five one by y five by gamma m. So this is the two forms. So here we don't know a b g, a b n, a t n, and a d g. We don't know these four parameters. So now we have to calculate a b g first. So please listen. A B C is nothing but A B C is nothing but minimum gross area in shear along transmitted force. Minimum gross. So transmitted force is nothing but perpendicular. Already I know block shear failure is caused due to the force acted due to perpendicular. Okay, the force acted due to perpendicular axial load which causes failure. The force acted due to perpendicular. So first one. A V G. So here please remember. So please remember one. V is the number vertical. So vertical. Okay, vertical. So add these three first. Thirty plus sixty plus thirty. That is the number width into into dia of the poles sixteen by two half. We are considering half sixteen by two into number of sides this side and this side two sides. So by calculate, okay. So vertical thirty plus sixty plus thirty into dia of the bolt sixteen by two into two. So we will get two thousand four hundred mm square. Two thousand four hundred mm square. Next, Y V J. Y V M.
a v n so say the formula for a v n is nothing but v minus n into diameter of the poles into p v minus n into diameter of poles into p so here b so up to this part only up to this part only so 30 plus 60 plus 30 Plus sixty plus sixty. Thirty plus sixty plus sixty. Minus n two point five. I am considering why because one two and point five. So minimum critical. So critical n is nothing but critical volts only. Only critical volts. That is two point five. Into dH eighteen, dH dm eighteen, into thickness sixteen by twenty two over a two sides, two sides. We can multiply one six eight zero, one six eight zero amount. Next, ye TG only center part. Only center part. Please remember, ATG is not ATG and ATM. ATG and ATM minimum cross area, minimum cross area and net area from bolt hole at toe. So AD is not but this center part and this center part. So here ATG is not but 16 into 8. So this 16 into 10 into 5. 16 by 8. So here we will get 4 AD mm square. Next ATM. ATM. ATM is nothing but same. 60 minus like that. 60 minus only one side. One into BL. ATM into thickness. So ATG is nothing but 60 into dia by 2. ATN is nothing but same 60 into n only one side only one into dn 18 into t 16 by 2. So we will get the value as. So here AVG, AVN, ATG and ATN. We have all the formulas, all the values. So by, by substituting, by substituting, we have T B one is equal to T B one is equal to four eleven point six nine kilonewtons, and T B two is equal to three eighty point eight kilonewtons. So total. So therefore. Design tensile strength is least of least of. So please remember least of T D G T D N and T D B. So least of what is the least value means T D is equal to T D N is equal to T D is equal to T D N is equal to. One ninety three point five four kilometers. So this is the least value for design tensile strength. So okay. So in this the tough process is only this for block here only. So you have to remember. You don't need to remember because it is in page number sixty three only. So this was the problem for design determining the tensile strength. Determining the tensile strength. So this is the. process okay thank you